What's up everyone? Welcome to a brand new video on the channel and welcome to some Forza Horizon 4. But before I start off this video, I have a big announcement to make. I have made a Reddit, r slash dubs mb. It's finally here. I want you guys to go ahead and post whatever it is that you guys want to post, whether it's memes, whether it's like something crazy or stupid or whatever, anything related to me, anything related to my content, it's there on reddit.com slash r slash dubs mb. So... I'll link it down in the description as well, where you guys can go ahead and check it out. But it is finally here, and uh, I'm actually very excited to see what happens with this Reddit. I know it might turn to absolute dog, but it, I, I think it'll be fun, just in general, to uh, have a Reddit. So, it's there, it, it's finally made. Go and enjoy yourselves, because I will have a look at this Reddit every single week. Um, and I'll have a look at some of the posts, and I'll make a whole video into them, where I just react to the posts. So, hopefully... That'll be a good uh, extra video during the week, and I hope... Well, it's, it's also always nice to include, um, you know, you guys, to include the community for for some of these things. So, yeah, I definitely recommend you guys hop on that Reddit and then start posting whatever it is that you guys want to start posting. But, yeah. Hamter. Anyway, let's get back to the video. I'm going to be driving the Koenigsegg Jesko, or Jesko, whatever it is you guys want to call it. This Monthly Rivals is featuring the Jesko, um, which is right here, as you can see. Monthly Rivals features this. However, if we do go into Winter, it is when we actually get to unlock it and play with it and modify it and upgrade it, tune it, whatever it is that we want to do. But for right now, the only teaser or thing that we get to do is just play with it in a monthly rival so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and try to see what it's like i haven't actually tried it yet i know people have gotten it early and whatever um in the super 7 because it was actually in the game before except it just wasn't released with the update where you guys can actually see and you know drive the car normally in the game so what uh what it was is every time what's happening okay for some reason, I was, I was booted offline or whatever into an offline lobby. And now I'm still driving this. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Codex Yesco. Um, let's actually drive this thing. Uh, it, obviously, it is... Why did they put it on the smallest circuit, man? Well, I want to have a look at this guy really quick here. Because, I have, like I said, I haven't actually taken a look at this thing. I have no idea what it's like. It looks nuts. It looks absolutely crazy in game. There's a lot of detail. I did this all the carbon fiber bits and pieces and everything like that. It's a uh, okay. Give me a sec, actually, because it's a little dark here. So bring my exposure up a little bit here, just so everybody can see. Um, and then obviously then get rid of that. So this is what it looks like. Even the 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 Koenigsegg writing on the wheels, the center cap as well has the badge on it. It's mad. It's it's really really cool. It looks great. It looks really really sick. I can't. I honestly can't wait to just drive this thing. Not like the way it is now in um, in just uh, Rivals mode, but actually drive it and modify it and do whatever it is that I want to do to it. I want to see how fast this thing actually is as well in a straight line because it's supposed to be very quick. However, this isn't the Koenigsegg uh, Yesco Absolute, which is the one that's literally built for top speed. This is built for, for handling as well. So we'll see what this thing is like. It also makes a stupid amount of power. Um, but uh, yeah, let's actually try this thing out in Rivals and see what it's like. I'll do... I'm just spinning my wheels. It's okay. Why did they put it? They literally put it on like the shortest circuit in the game. Oh, it's so sketchy when I floor it. I have to keep it in such a such a high gear. I either keep it in a really high gear, or I have to be like. Super, super gentle on my, on my throttle. Okay, <laughs> I put a proper time down. Let's just have a look at leaderboards as well. Maybe I can do something with the leaderboards. But this is really fast. <laughs> it's really fast. I, I honestly cannot even like just plant my foot down or put my finger down. I guess all the way because it's it's way too fast. This is way too short of a track for uh, for the Koenigsegg to be used on. Way, way, way too short. Especially it being rear wheel drive. It's absolutely nuts how fast it actually is um, to drive out with such a small, small surface area. Like, just on that little area of the track. Okay, we'll do no thanks on this one. 
I'm gonna go back and have a look at some of the leaderboards and we'll see if um, if I can do like a little top of thousand or something on it. Because um, I think it's it's very much possible to try that out. So let's go to rivals again, monthly rivals, um, and then press Y on this when it's available. There we go. Okay, 31 seconds to beat apparently. Codex Agesco. It doesn't look like people cheated, or if people cheated, then everyone cheated here at the top. But, but it certainly looks like it's normal. Seventy thousand people have already done this, by the way. Um, anyone from my friends or club in top one thousand? That's near me. Why is it not showing me top one thousand? My friends and club. Club. There's someone at five oh eight. He's an automatic, but still, he's at five oh eight. I could, like, just select him as my ghost. And I will try to beat him. He's four seconds faster than me. He's he's a lot faster than me. <laughs> he's a lot faster than me. Let's, let's try to beat his time. I'm on... I'm on manual. He's on automatic. Um, however, I also need a running start. So what I need to do here is I need to do one full lap. Because I know he's going to be faster than me. So I'll do one full lap. Then when I come back around again, obviously I'll have like a, a rolling start instead of just a... Like being smooth on the accelerator is, is key with this car. I cannot for it anywhere. Oh, no, I tapped off the wall. That's okay. Well, by the looks of things, I would have beaten him, I think. Because I'm... My driving line's better. My throttle control is better. Right now, I'm just... Just driving. Come on. Stop sliding, please. Oh, it's gone. Oh, gentle, please. <laughs> it's so all over the place. It's very, very sketchy. I've ruined my run completely, though. This is the whole sliding thing. Even his sixth gear, man! I missed it. I missed my checkpoint. Even his sixth gear. If I tried to floor it, and it just immediately <laughs> starts to spin those wheels. Please. It's already set us. It's fine. I've barely beaten him. I already started sliding. I've barely beaten this guy. <laughs> oh my god. That took so long. That actually really really annoyed me <laughs> uh, has nothing to do with the car it has nothing to do with me or sorry it does have everything to do with me it has nothing to do with the car it has everything to do with me so that's why i can't be annoyed at the game or the car or anything like that it's literally my fault but it's so hard to put just the tiniest amount i'm not even like half throttling sometimes and then the back wheels just break traction and slip immediately like it's it's that hard i highly recommend you guys try this thing yourselves it's stupid it's stupid hard to do. I'm gonna go ahead and see where I am on the leaderboards and try to aim for higher, but I'll probably end up jumping out my window um, before I end up making it higher on the leaderboards. Uh, but <laughs> oh my god, I swear. Okay, where am I in the world with this? Because I beat that guy who was like 500 and something in the world, right? Um, If I go to... Near I'm 459th. 
in the world. Okay, that's that's manageable. I still have ABS on. Like, if I turned ABS off, I might turn ABS off actually. Why why wouldn't I turn ABS off? I'm done. No chance in hell. Right, boys, I am done. Uh, I love the the Yesco, Jesco, whatever it is you want to call it, but they stuck it on such a small circuit here. I definitely don't want to keep playing on that because it is absurd. It's so, so hard. Just because you have to control its power, and it's just so dumb to slide around like that. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the Koenigsegg Yesco. I definitely cannot wait to actually play with it properly. And again, as usual, please like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you're new and of course like i said brand new thing the reddit the reddit is now available for you guys to check out i highly recommend um you guys go on it and uh let's see how many members we can get in like a week but yeah anyway link to those are down below as well thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video goodbye